I've been on the Strategic Planning Committee about five years. Last year was my second year participating and I was on the Teaching and Learning. I've been involved in strategic planning for 13 years. I felt it was important as a reading teacher to know what our mission statement was. Um, and I felt thought it was important that they hear a teacher's point of view. I have been involved in strategic planning for about 10 years. As a teacher, I became first involved because I really thought I needed to see what the big picture was, where we were as teachers getting our directives from. This past year, I was in the Facilities and Operations Committee, and one of the things we discussed was developing a wellness program. Originally, the reason why I joined is I really wasn't on like the board or a staff person, but I had a lot of interest in seeing what the school was doing and how they were preparing education for the future. Well, the Pewaukee School District has been doing strategic planning since 1992. That's over 20 years. I don't know many school districts in our state that have been doing it that long. But for us, the reason why we do it is because we get results. Um, over time, it's driven excellence into the district, and it's created a solid framework for us to involve the community and also for us to execute and be accountable to the community for the work that we do. Before we had it, we were a very small, reactive district. We have now turned into a very progressive, proactive district, and I attribute it to our strategic planning. One of the things that I really like is the global view that I get when I attend these meetings, meaning I hear about all four schools. I think sometimes we just think about our own job. For our strategic planning, we have a wide variety of people who come to our sessions, such as parents, teachers, students, community uh, people, and they come together for the interest of the students. I think that this helps give us a wider range of what our needs are and what the focus of the entire community is for our district. The leaders of each strand work all summer, I'm sure, to write up the Plan, Do, Study, Act, and then the teachers are given those strategic plans in the fall, and then we write our individual goals off of those, and then some people write their team goals off of those. Once we to look at everything in the strategic planning and come back after our committees as a whole and we go through, okay, what from each of the committees do we want to focus on? And we pick a few things and then the superintendent takes that and implements it. And I think we have seen that, I think, especially with the one-on-one uh, -on -one learning in math, that's really, really can be easily seen um, in the high school and in the elementary schools as well. And we've really done a good job of that, I think. From our planning, I think some of the things that came to fruition were the fact that we are now extremely computer literate. We are one-on-one, -on -one, and that started off very, very small in the beginning. We now have continual staff development of everyone from our Board of Education all the way down to the custodians and food workers. Those were focuses that came out of strategic planning. First of all, schools need a strategic planning process because they need to look at the future. Things are changing. How we deliver education, how students learn, what resources are available, that's all changed a lot. And so I think a school system through a planning process like the strategic planning process at Pewaukee can look at the available resources, what students need, and they can adapt the learning programs to what's available and how to help students learn. Pewaukee, we're a great school. Um, but to stay a great school, we need to keep looking to the future and what can we do? This is what we're doing. How do we get better? Because there's always that continual curve that we can keep doing more, keep doing better. There's never an end. As long as we're willing to adapt and to do more and to focus more on what our students need to succeed, not just in the university level, but wherever they end up. And looking to that in strategic planning really gives us a plan as a district and what we can do. And I think that's great.